A lot of people say, this movie is just for the super feminist. And if you don't like feminists, that's how you react will be after watching Barbie. Is Barbie movie great, or is it just full of agenda from big organizations? For me, Barbie movie was good, but it has some flaws. It is the best day ever, so is yesterday, and so is tomorrow, and every day from now until forever! What's the story? Viewers are taken to a parallel universe called Barbieland, where myriad Barbies live in harmony with a bunch of Kens and their pals Midge and Skipper. S since Barbies rule this idealistic, they believe that the real world is similarly woman and girl-friendly. Barbie, who's always perfect paying attention to Ken, who does little more than stand around at the beach with the other Kens. But when Barbie starts to have thoughts about death, she loses her permanent foot arch and sprouts a spot of cellulite, forcing her to visit the wise but isolated Weird Barbie. Weird Barbie explains that stereotypical Barbie will continue to deteriorate if she doesn't cross over into the human world, find the girl who's playing with her, and cheer her up. So Barbie and Stowaway Ken set off on a quest to Los Angeles. As Barbie tries to find her human, she realizes that the human world isn't at all what she expected. The characters? 1. Margot Robbie Margot Robbie is absolutely incredible. Despite some recent setbacks, it's fantastic to see her captivate a wide audience and remind everyone why she is such a highly sought-after actress. In this movie, Barbie goes on a remarkable journey, and Robbie portrays her character's awakening with a perfect blend of confusion, terror, humor, and bittersweet acceptance. It's an incredibly demanding role, and Robbie absolutely delivers. 2. Ryan Gosling Ryan Gosling absolutely shines in the broadly comic role of Ken in this movie. He steals the spotlight in so many scenes, delivering a fantastic performance. Even though the material for his character may not have been my favorite, Gosling manages to make it work and truly captivate the audience. While Barbie may have a more dynamic character arc, Ken also gets his chance to embark on a thrilling journey of his own. It's a delightful experience watching Gosling bring this one new character to life. 3. The Supporting Cast The various other Barbies and Kens greatly contribute to the richness of Barbie's world. Issa Rae's portrayal of President Barbie is simply hilarious, eliciting some of the movie's biggest laughs. Kate McKinnon brings a unique and captivating energy to the role of Weird Barbie, showcasing her exceptional talent in playing such characters. I must admit, I was thoroughly impressed by Michael Sarah's performance as Alan, a fish out of water who struggles to identify with the Kens. Sadly, although his character is initially built up with significance, the movie fails to fully explore his storyline. Now I want to talk about the most important topic in this video. Is this movie just for the super feminist? But before that, I have a request. I wish with all my heart that you subscribe to the channel. We get tired of writing scripts and editing videos, but we do not get views but I will continue to download videos because I love what I do. But if you subscribe to my channel, I will be pleased. This movie is just for the super feminist. There have been widespread claims suggesting that this movie is driven by an agenda, with allegations that its primary aim is to manipulate the thoughts of young children. Critics argue that the choice of Barbie as the central character was strategic, as the popular doll game is present in many households. The intention, they claim, is to instill hatred towards males and promote a feminist ideology. It is argued that by producing a high-budget film centered around a well-known personality like Barbie, the impact on society would be far-reaching, further influencing individuals towards feminism. For me, I agree with some of this talk and disagree with some of it. Let me explain more. 1. Is this movie for the super feminist? Yes, Barbie movie for feminists. And there are some messages that children should not watch, meaning if I have children under 18 years old, I will not make them watch the movie. 2. Is the movie bad? No, the movie is not bad at all. While it may touch upon certain ideas that some individuals may disagree with, it's important to recognize that this doesn't diminish the overall quality of the film. In fact, there are numerous aspects that make this movie truly outstanding. 
allow me to delve into its positive features in the following paragraph. 3. Does the movie communicate bad ideas? While there are some ideas presented in this film that may not align with everyone's perspectives, it's crucial to note that it also explores important themes related to treating women with respect and acknowledging their vital role in society. Although there are several ideas that I strongly disagree with, it doesn't stop me from watching the movie. I believe that even amidst these differing viewpoints, there are still valuable concepts worth embracing. It's up to us to choose what ideas we want to have and what we don't want, but the movie is good, so don't let some agenda prevent you from watching the movie. Is it any weak? 1. They didn't know where to stop. They were absolutely unstoppable, never knowing where to halt, resulting in a remarkably diverse movie that fearlessly delves into countless aspects of Barbie's world. It embarks on various captivating journeys, effortlessly switching gears and introducing an array of brilliant concepts and captivating plot lines. However, this ambitious approach ultimately left me in awe, as the film's conclusion didn't quite deliver the satisfaction I had anticipated. 2. The movie's just a little bit slower. Be aware that the film may lose some momentum in the early stages of the second act, as it transitions from the captivating charm of the first act. While the initial 30 minutes are highly enjoyable, there is a noticeable decrease in pace as it enters a different phase. Please note that the movie may feel slightly sluggish during this period. I think that the most beautiful part when watching a movie is discussing the topic with other people. So tell me what you think about Barbie. What you like about the movie, what you hate about the movie, and how much you give the film out of 10. I will tell you in my rate at the end of the video. Is it any good? 1. High energy. When it comes to this movie, the first words that come to mind are high energy. It feels like you are living in a world where Barbies, Kens, and their accessories have just come to life. It is jam-packed with references to Barbie dolls and accessories from decades past. If you've ever had Barbies, had a sister with Barbies, or babysat a kid with Barbies, you're just going to see all of these little things and doodads, RVs, and dream houses brought to life. You can feel the energy and creativity maintained from the beginning of the movie to the end. They have found the perfect aesthetic for Barbie Land, capturing it right. 2. The movie is really freaking funny. This movie is an absolute blast. Prepare to have your mood skyrocket after watching it. Get ready to laugh until your sides hurt. There are jokes that will have you crying tears of joy. Sure, there are some silly moments, but overall, I couldn't stop laughing. What, what is my rate? I think not everyone will like this movie. We will find people who like the movie and people who hate it. But let's leave all fanaticism aside and look at the movie in terms of the story and the characters. So my rating for the movie is 7 out of 10. Do not forget to tell me your rating out of 10. And also do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.